Hello, I'm John Mischler, and this is the Tylock International Burst Test Demonstration Video. Today we'll be taking a half inch Tylock CBC Lock Double Ferrule Tube Fitting. We'll be intermixing it with the components of a manufacturer's fitting, and we're going to put together an assembly with half inch 035 tubing mounted onto our hydraulic pressure unit, take it up to four times the burst pressure of the tubing until we get a failure. So we'll take our Tylock CBC Lock. Take it apart. We have our four components, the body, the front ferrule, the rear ferrule, and the fitting nut. We'll take the rear ferrule and the front ferrule from the swage lock fitting. We're going to take the rear ferrule. We want to make sure the flat part of that ferrule seats into the back of the nut. You can flip that ferrule around and still put this fitting together. Once we have both ferrules in there, we'll screw the nut on, make sure it's finger tight, and we're good to go. Now we're going to take this fitting and make our assembly. So we'll put our half inch 035 tubing in there. You want to make sure it goes all the way to the counter bore of the fitting. If you don't put that tubing all the way in, we call that short sticking. And if the ferrules bite down too close to the end of the tubing, you can have a failure or a leak point. I'll mark my nut hex so I know where our starting point is. And then I want to follow instructions and go one and one quarter turns past finger tight. So I'll take a 7 8 inch wrench here. I'm going to turn the nut, driving those ferrules forward, engaging the tubing, and making our seal. That's about one full turn right there, so I want to go a quarter past that. Looks like we're good. I'll take my half inch no-go gauge and you can see since that gauge won't go in between the nut hex and the body hex of that fitting, I know I've gone far enough and I have a good seal. We're now going to mount our assembly onto the unit. As I said, we're using half inch 035 wall seamless tubing. We publish the suggested allowable pressure ratings based on tubing in our catalogs. Our tube fittings actually don't have a pressure rating. The weak link in the system is going to be the tubing, so we do publish those numbers based on the tube wall thickness. For half inch 035 wall, the suggested allowable pressure is 2,600 pounds. Those numbers have a safety factor of 4 to 1, which means we won't see a failure until about four times that 2,600 pound rating. Alright. So we'll put a little pressure on the system here. take it up to about 3,000 pounds. So right here we're a little above the suggested allowable pressure of 2,600. Again, because of that 4 to 1 safety factor, uh, not the end of the world if you see a pressure spike and you go above the 2,600 number. As we put more pressure on the system, we hit six, seven, eight thousand pounds of pressure. Uh, at this point you would have other products in line failing, all kinds of bells and whistles going off. Looks like we're still good, no leak points. As we hit 9, 10, 11,000 pounds, you'll see the center section of the tubing begin to swell and expand. And once we hit about four times the working pressure, we'll find the weakest point in the system and that tubing will blow out. And there you have it. So as you can see, tie lock fittings intermixed with swage lock ferrules, you're still going to get a good seal every time and you're going to be able to go to the burst pressure of the system.